all right now what type of PV shade you can have all right so here I have few pictures so see this one is the common one that you usually found in the small factories okay it is a single spun segment all of you are a little bit aware with the design part that this is called your building width this is your a height a height which includes your top see okay and if you have the clear height then this will be your clear height okay from here to bottom that is your finished floor level so this will be your clear height but if they are asking for the a height this will be your a height then we have this z channel or c purlin at the end to provide the shitting shitting will be based uh, on your side purlins now the, that purlin can be a channel section or the z purlin okay then we have purlins on the top to support our roof shitting then this is the typical purlin spacing is specified so this one is the common segment now there is one another term called steel line okay now steel line is basically to provide a basic alignment in the longitudinal direction uh, which will be which should be match with your and your roof shading or if you have let's say in some of the cases what what is the situation you can have the let me just yeah now in some of the cases what will be the situation up to 3 meter you have RCC column and then you have PB shed right so in that case based on the architectural requirement it can be flushed with the roof sheeting or okay so this can be another situation where you have up to 3 meter you have RCC column and then you have base plate and the connection for the pre-engineering building structure okay then you have multi span which has a module width and then you have a vertical column over here in the longitudinal direction as well okay this is your ridge line so this one is the multi span then you can have a single span with the crane so that one is the other category now the next category this one now here you can see we have four width one two three four modules right so this particular components are usually you will find this in the automobile industry because they want a chain processing units in the longitudinal direction okay so there one processing unit will be here second processing unit will be here third will be here and fourth will be here something like this it depends on that architectural configuration okay so this one is the multi span another one now see in most of the segments you may have this situation as well where you have RCC building and you can have the shade in the separate side because it is leaning on your RCC now in such situation what they basically do uh, they provide insert plates over here and provide the connection okay with the anchor bolts so you need to install the insert plates in the RCC components and then your PEB part will be inserted over here so in that case you have to provide the wind analysis for this particular frame and this frame only okay this direction wind will not govern so for this particular two elements you have to work out your wind okay so these are few parts next now let's say in some situations let's say you have some processing unit over here and you don't want any column here okay then there will be a additional supporting rafter this one okay because see due to the longer direction segment what is the situation you can't go with a higher span Okay, you have certain limitations based on your deflection and serviceable uh, deflection and design criteria let's say up to 6 meter you can you have 
six column at every six meter but in some situations let's say here you have some pit underground pit or you have a cable trench okay and in that case you are not able to install a column over here then you have to specify a jack beam this is called jack beam so your rafter is supported over here on the jack beam okay so this situation is also one of the part in PEB so if you don't have any column you can support your portal frame over the jack beam now in this game case this particular component will be go with the higher design because it has a point load from this frame and this column design will be higher another one mezzanine floor okay now mezzanine floor as I told you uh, it will be a simple slab kind of the DAC panel on which we provide and work out the design part okay you can see see this is one of the picture from the shade now it is uh, with a span of 35 meter okay on each side you have a single column uh, you have a crane over here which is rested this is called core bell and this is our supporting element okay in the longitudinal direction where we have this operating crane so see you can observe that it's a processing unit right where you can see some I beams which are processed some plates right so over here the large space requirement is higher so it depends on the client requirement so once you decide the architectural input part then you may have this input that how you have to design your pre-engineering building components okay so architectural component and client requirements is the major concern and based on that we provide the design like we just we do in RCC structures